I'm Sierra Schultze and I'm all about inspiring women of all sizes to be confident and rock their curves. I know that gaining confidence is a journey and I want to help you kickstart the process. So in this new series, we're hitting them all together. Girls of all different shapes and sizes from different walks of life are joining the curvy crew and getting a confidence makeover. Instead of trying to change your outward appearance, this makeover focuses on working through body image struggles and finding clothes that flatter your figure to make you feel beautiful inside and out. I want to show that it's not about the size of the dress. It's about how the dress makes you feel. It's Sierra Schultz's Confidence Makeover. Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm 26 years old and I currently live in Alameda, California. I'm a proud military wife. I love fashion and style, which is why I love Sierra's channel and one of the reasons I decided to start my own YouTube channel. The last time I went shopping was probably about a month ago where I bought this ill-fitting dress <laughs> and a couple of other items. Um, shopping has not been, I still enjoy shopping, but I don't enjoy going to the dress room at all unfortunately anymore. I see so many comments being like, oh, I wish you could come shopping with me. I think I could get through my insecurities if you could help me. So now I actually get to do it. And I think Emily is the perfect person for this series. I'm so excited to meet her. Hi. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Me you too. look so cute. Oh my gosh, you're it's beautiful. It's so nice to meet you. I think all of my anxiety like immediately washed away like when I sat down on the couch with her. It was like talking with an old friend. So it was so fun. This is my first thing like ever doing with a viewer. Like I've never done meet okay. and greets. Like I've literally never done anything. I'm not crazy. So, <laughs> so it's making it like so real. Meeting Emily was so great. I am so excited she's here and it's just awesome to be able to put like a face to a viewer and I just, I feel like we really get each other. Okay, so let's talk about your mood board. Okay. Um, so you sent some pictures of okay. what you were looking for with a little poster board. A mood board is a great way to figure out what you really want your personal style to be, like your style goals. When you walk into a store, it can be really overwhelming because there's so many options, so you'll just revert to what you're used to. So by making a mood board, you'll kind of sharpen your eye for the styles that you really want to keep a lookout for. I've always loved the classic feminine style. Yeah. I was raised very Christian, so I'm a Christian, so like oh, me definitely too. like Modest is Hottest was the thing in my yep. household, so. <laughs> Church camp is yeah. here, Modest is Hottest. Yeah, so no, I, I love that, that because that. like, I feel like when you're a teenager trying to dress modest is like a struggle, but when you're an adult, it just makes it look more put together. Mm -hmm. So what do you think has like kept you from dressing like that so far? Oh my gosh, okay, there's a multitude <laughs> of reasons I feel like, so I, was binge watching your videos last night actually and I realized that I have no idea how to dress my body. So I, most of my life was like a size two, four. Yeah. So I had like thicker thighs or whatever, but I was a four, like right. I could wear whatever I wanted. So then when I started gaining weight, I just was like wearing, like trying to wear the same stuff, but then just kind of became ashamed of my body. So I was just wearing like whatever, you know, like covering up my, right. my curves. So I just, don't even look for those I types of things. I literally had the exact same thing like during my last year of high school because I was the same way. I was like mm -hmm. always like a six and then I gained a bunch of weight mm -hmm. and I didn't want to go buy new clothes. So I just wore like yoga pants and like a t-shirt yeah. every day because that was the only stuff I had that like fit me. I haven't enjoyed going into the dressing room just because my body has changed so much. I don't really know what to even put on it. And when I do put on clothes, I just am disappointed with what I see. So opening up about my weight gain has been like hard in general. I've talked a little bit with like my family and maybe make jokes about how I've gotten fat with friends, but I don't really, and that's the whole point, is I don't really have a good view of myself. So it was crazy to sit down with somebody who like I know and love from her channel, but like really we don't know each other and just kind of be like, hey, this is me, this is what I struggle with healthy <laughs> basically um, but it's really freeing to do that and it, I think it helps you like grow and heal so much. The three outfits I really want to look for today for okay. you. The first thing um, is a uniform. Do you know what that means? Like no. a uniform? It's not like a school uniform, I promise. <laughs> I'm not gonna put you on like khakis. <laughs> a style uniform is basically the outfit structure that you gravitate towards most. So my typical everyday uniform is a basic t-shirt, either tied or tucked in, a nice pair of form-fitting high-rise jeans, and a colorful kimono to top it off. When I'm having one of those days where I have a closet full of clothes and feel like nothing looks good on me, I can 
always default to my uniform and know it's something that I'm gonna feel cute and confident in. So I think if we find your uniform, you can recreate that same look with a million different pieces in okay. your closet. Something that you feel really comfortable in that isn't pushing any boundaries, something that you're, you just naturally feel great in mm -hmm. that you can recreate. For my uniform, I'm really hoping to find something like a nice pair of jeans that actually fits my curves, um, some type of top or blouse, and a cardigan that I can throw over my shoulders, especially in the chilly San Francisco air. The second thing I really wanna like push your fashion fears. So like, great. I know for, uh, right? And you're like, great, why did I come here? I'm going back to San Francisco. <laughs> we all have those styles that we love and we want to wear, but don't go for, for whatever reason. Maybe it's insecurities. Maybe it's because that outfit just doesn't seem to fit your body right. So today I really want to challenge Emily to find an outfit that conquers her fashion fears. The things that she wants to wear, but always hesitates towards. Definitely like that high waist, those high waisted skirts with buttons that are really in. Okay. I love them. Right from them. your mood board. Yes. <laughs> and I bought one and never wore it and then I gained weight and don't fit in it anymore. So it's kind of just like I've always wanted to wear something like that. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll look for something like that okay. too. So I'd love to see her push past those today because I think she would totally rock a button front denim skirt. And then the third thing I'm going to look for just like a hero piece, like a total wild card thing that just makes you feel beautiful, okay. whether it's like a hat or a dress or a pair of jeans, like whatever it is, just something that, you know, you know those things. Yeah, that you, absolutely. If you, it's in your closet and you put it on, you're gonna have a good day. Mm -hmm. So we can find something like that for you. Okay. And I think if we find one of each of those things, it'll be like a really good start to like you feeling confident in the way that you dress so that hopefully when you go home, you can kind of use those same yeah. ideas. Yay! All right, you ready? So excited. Yes, I am. Okay, let's go shopping. <laughs> I'm so excited. Emily's mood board and personal style, I chose three stores for her, Anthropology, Madewell, and Gap. All three of these stores really embody Emily's personal style. They're mature, but they're not buttoned up. They're fun, they're pastels, and they just seem to have a lot of great options that I think will work for her body type. Almost immediately I put on something, and we didn't love it, but it fit my body type, which was kind of something I haven't experienced in a while. I think something I learned today that was really like powerful to me is that the size of the clothing item does not matter. It was kind of cool because Sierra would pick everything out for me, so I wasn't really focusing on the sizes, and I didn't worry about them, which is not something I normally do, and I think that's really like a powerful thing to do, to free yourself from the size. So we have this nice, beautiful set yes, now for you do. to show what we found when we went shopping. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to see it. Me too. So for the first outfit, we went with her uniform, which we talked about earlier, was gonna be very classic, feminine, timeless, with still that like modesty to it. So what we have first is we found this perfect basic tee from Anthropology with the ruffles on the sleeves, which is very feminine. I love that. It has like a little bit of that wider boxy cut, which is great because you can tuck it into the right. jeans or tie it and still show off your hips. And it's just this perfect color for you. Your perfect favorite color, right? Thing. And then also for this outfit, for the uniform, we have this pair of denim jeans from Madewell and these are high waisted. So they're really gonna flatter your curves, fit you in every part of your body. And it's like the perfect everyday wash. I feel like you'll get, I'm so get a lot of use yes. out of these. <laughs> and this is something that you can mix and match with things that you already have Literally everything in yeah. your closet. And over the top, we have this nice chunky cardigan from Gap. Actually, the only thing we got from Gap. And we haven't seen this whole outfit together because obviously each of these are from different stores. So I'm excited to see it all come together. Oh, and we almost forgot the final touch. We have this chunky gold necklace. Because the shirt's a little bit more plain, I feel like it's fun to add a nice pop of Absolutely, color yeah. to pull it together. All right, let's see it. <laughs> Wait, okay, so come much. look at yourself in the mirror because this literally looks like one of the Pinterest outfits you showed it, me. It looks exactly like the Pinterest outfit. It's so exciting to have a uniform, something that I feel confident and comfortable in and it kind of exudes the personality and style that I've always wanted to. I think especially since I've gained weight, I have struggled so much to find something that kind of feels like me and I can recreate so many different ways every single day if I really wanted to. I'm so excited because 
this, my dream is to be like the classy woman like breezing through the city. I don't know. <laughs> and I just feel like this is the outfit and I the can just change out my shoes. The shoes that you brought even work right? with the outfit. It's so it's very exciting. cute. I love the French tuck you did in the front. Thank that you. That is so great. cute. And I love this necklace. The necklace pulls it all together. And you know what? You could even take this cardigan off like if you're in the office yeah. or on a date or whatever. And the sleeves, the ruffled sleeves are, are so, so cute. cute that you still get to see that like touch of femininity in it. Right. Perfect. Emily's first outfit is the perfect example of a uniform. It's something she feels so confident in, she can recreate with different pieces in her closet. And I mean, tell me she doesn't look great. She looks great. I'm so thrilled with this outfit. I feel great in it. Good. Like I was totally strutting down the hallway. Like. Yay, you were like working it on your way yes. from the dressing room. <laughs> and so this is something it. you can recreate from things that you already have mm -hmm. in your closet. Like Absolutely. this isn't a complicated outfit. It's not complex. Right. T-shirt, nice piece of jewelry, cardigan jeans you can yes. mix this up for every season you could do capris for summer or spring mm -hmm. this is cute yeah i feel like this is you you're like glowing in I'm, this i i just love it so much oh, i'm so yay. happy i'm Thank so you. happy okay now we love as much as we love this outfit i think we both know outfit two the one that was supposed to conquer your fashion fears mm -hmm. is like the standout look from this I video amazing in that outfit so let's grab that one so for this outfit we found this on the anthropology sale rack this okay. is a cherry embroidered shirt it's kind of embarrassing but when i was like 11 my very first email was cherry girl and here I am at 26 wearing a cherry shirt. <laughs> okay, so on your mood board, we talked a lot about that button front skirt look yes, we that did. you loved. But when we were actually in store, finding one that fits that curvy hourglass mm -hmm. shape is so difficult because the buttons tend to pull. Exactly. And it wasn't about your body. It wasn't about like the proportions. It was about that skirt right. style. When we went to Anthropology, Emily and I found this great button front skirt that matched that cherry top perfectly, but it just wasn't right for her body type. It wasn't made for someone with curves like me or Emily or probably most of you guys who are watching. And so what we decided to do is instead of trying to force an item that doesn't work mm -hmm. on your curves, we found a great option, which is this zip front skirt. And so this gives that same button front look, but it's not gonna pull because the zipper right. is a lot more sturdy than the buttons. Right. Her body wasn't the problem, it was just that skirt. So we went to Madewell and we found one that had a zipper in the front instead, and it still really shows that button front style that she loves so much, but it rocks her curves. And then to top off the look, we found this great denim jacket at Anthropology. And when we were walking in, I had asked Emily, I'm like, what do you think about denim jackets? She's like, oh, I love them, but I have one and I haven't gotten one in a size that fits yes. me. So you can throw out that old one mm -hmm, and finally. take the new one that matches your style and fits your figure perfectly. This looks so cute on you. It's perfect. Fits you like a glove. It. Yeah. And this skirt is like a little bit shorter than I'd go for, but with the jacket, I just felt I don't know. I just felt better about it. I it felt covered in one coverage. area, but exactly. Like. I think like it's great to push those boundaries. You know, go for the skirt that's mm -hmm. a little bit shorter, but you can balance that with a higher neckline or a little bit more coverage on the arms with a great jacket right. like this. So let's see the whole so look excited. come together. Do a turn. This is turn worthy. Okay, I'm just gonna leave because you are like making me look bad now. Okay, fine. So my Fashion Fears outfit ended up being my absolute favorite, which is really funny to me. Um, but I felt fantastic in it. Um, High-waisted mini skirt of all things. We ended up finding a zipper that worked much better than the button. Seriously, <laughs> you look this so, one so much. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I just want to go on a date night or something. Yes. Or like to the movies. I don't like know. I just feel good. Yes. I'm obsessed with this outfit. So going into today, is this something you felt like you couldn't wear? Like because the skirt I would is... never even have like tried to. Like really? I would have seen that skirt and made it on and been like, oh this is cute and like move on because I don't know. I just wouldn't even have mini skirts, like please. <laughs> so but this is but you. honestly I feel like totally normal and fine and great and beforehand that would have not have happened because I just wouldn't have even allowed myself to think about it as an option. So yeah. this is awesome. <laughs> I think it's so great like be, not letting yourself be limited by those insecurities yes. and going like, oh, this isn't for me, this isn't for me. Like 
it's clearly for you. You look so good. Thank you so much. I love it. I feel fantastic. So this is definitely hands down my fave. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just I think when you're wearing a great outfit, you just know that you're just like dang girl. Like, get it. <laughs> and that outfit was definitely it for me. So I definitely conquered my fear. <laughs> so those are the two outfits that we got, but we did find a hero piece. We did. And this hero piece is actually so funny and so special. <laughs> so my hero piece ended up being this pair of shorts from Madewell that I'd actually seen um, Sierra wearing on her channel and I had thought like, oh, I should buy those. And of course never did because I have struggled to find a pair of shorts that I feel confident and comfortable in. So when we went to Madewell, Emily mm -hmm. was telling me, oh, I saw a pair of button front shorts that you got from mm -hmm. Madewell in a video. We walked in, she saw them, she's like, oh, I'm gonna try these on and buy them with my own money, mm -hmm. like outside the video. She tried them on, I'm like, wait, this should be our hero piece. Yes, you like them so them. much. They look great on you. We're gonna be twinning. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> I wish I brought them so we could actually I know, twin. that would've been so cute. I know, but uh, let's see them. Yeah, so excited. <laughs> Are so cute on you. I'm just convinced that every curvy girl needs a pair of high waisted button front so. shorts. And these are like longer, so yes. they help with the chub rub. They're just absolutely <laughs> perfect. Yes, Love I them. don't go for shorts that don't cover the chub rub. It's too much. Can't do it. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, and I love this shirt. Yeah, it looks great this shirt with these can shorts, be worn actually. With, like, everything. And now I feel amazing. Good. So. You look amazing. You Thanks. should. You deserve to feel amazing. And I'm just really glad that we got to do this. Me and too. I hope that when you go home and you have your wardrobe, you can like take these confident feelings and mm -hmm. put them into that and create outfits that make you feel beautiful. Overall, the whole experience was so fun, so amazing. Um, Sierra was so nice, she made me feel so comfortable. And it was really fun shopping with her because it literally felt like I had a personal stylist, which, come on, we all want one of those. Um, I just enjoyed everything about it and I'm going away with some great clothes, some newfound confidence, and some tips and tricks I can use to go shopping for myself. It is so important to remember when you're in that dressing room and it just feels like everything is wrong, that your body is not wrong, the clothes are wrong. And you might have to go through a million different piles of clothes in the dressing room, but you are going to find things that flatter your figure and make you feel confident because your body is not the problem. A few weeks after we filmed Emily's Confidence Makeover, I started planning the promo shoot for The Curvy Crew, my clothing line. And of course, I asked Emily to be a part of it and she came down. We had so much fun taking pictures and modeling together. And it really was just like the cherry on top of this video and the confidence makeover because at our photo shoot, Emily was so confident. She was working it. She was wearing a pair of the jeans that we bought for her in this video. So thank you to Emily for coming down and filming this with me and really helping me to change the way that I think about my body as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode and I will see you on Tuesday with another new video. Bye!